Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first of the Insider builds for this week, and Microsoft rolled out the latest beta channel builds, 2261.1180 and 2263.1180 on the 19th of January, and that was with the update KB5022363. And just to have a quick look, if you would be interested in what's new in both builds, 2261 and 2263. And uh, the first is Microsoft, Microsoft say they have updated the cloud storage in settings for Windows 11. And this seems to be getting quite a lot of attention from Microsoft in the Insider program and also in the stable channel of Windows 11. Now, the latest uh, in the beta channel for both builds is that the settings, the settings app supports new visuals on the accounts page to provide a visual overview of your cloud storage usage across Microsoft products, as we can see um, from the screenshot provided by Microsoft from the release notes. Uh, the new visuals, says Microsoft, include a consolidated cloud storage bar, and uh, um, also it shows your storage usage for each product and notifies you if you are running low on storage. And as mentioned, uh, something very similar rolled out to Windows 11 21H2 and 22H2, but obviously this is just Microsoft improving on that in the Insider program. Now, um, they say they've removed the quota bar from uh, um, the subscriptions card to eliminate duplication of the visuals, and also Outlook attachment data will be included in your cloud storage as displayed on the visual with uh, this latest build, 22621 and 22623. So that's updates to cloud storage now in the Insider program in those beta channel builds. And then moving on to the next, and this actually rolled out previously to the dev channel where we get widgets improvements. And um, this is now they are removing the sign-in requirement for widgets board. As we can see, you don't need to be signed in and making it available for all users. So you can now get weather updates um, on the taskbar, open widgets, and um, get a personalized dynamic feed according to Microsoft without using a Microsoft account. So that's made its way now to the beta channel insiders for this week. And then something that has also rolled out um, before to the dev channel, Get Help app um, has now a new troubleshoot network issues dialogue. So basically they're replacing the network troubleshooter in the OS with a modern Get Help based experience as we can see. And um, the new APIs diagnose problems and offer specific recommendations to get online so that's basically get connected if you find yourself offline and that's the new get help app uh, troubleshoot network issues now in those beta channel builds now even above um, uh, those new features and improvements once again uh, in the beta channel we do get a couple of fixes for build 22623 mainly focusing on the taskbar and system tray and the task manager and I'll leave uh, the release notes to uh, the beta channel insider builds for this week in the description if you'd like a little bit more info. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.